My favorite is this side story of Neza, where his proud little voice is simply adorable. By coincidence, the so-called strongest lip-sync model, Sonic, has been open-sourced. I've created a workflow using it that can make any character say thunder rolls, I'm so scared. Photos, oil paintings, or side profiles, no problem, and the effect is quite good. In today's video, let's take a look at this model and workflow together. This project is called Sonic, Simple, and Direct, Sonic Wave, developed by Tencent and Jujang University. The core idea is to use global audio perception technology, which, while processing the input audio, can render more emotionally and semantically accurate lost. actions and expressions friends, in real time, making virtual everyone. characters more natural and lively. Official we comparisons with other models in the same field show that it not only outperforms open source models like Sad Talk and Halo, but even surpasses closed source ago. commercial models like Jimming. And the more I've compared it with the recently open-sourced latent sync, and indeed, Sonic is slightly better, with more vivid and natural character expressions. Can't wait to try it in Comfy UI? Join me! Step 1. Download the model. There's quite a bit to download, including Sonic itself, Whisper Tiny, and SVD. Yes, you read that right, it's the Stable Diffusion official image-to-video model I introduced a year ago. Once downloaded, place the files in the corresponding directory. Step 2. Open Comfy UI and install the plugins. Simply search for Sonic using the manager. The dependencies are relatively lenient, so you can install it without worry. Another plugin you'll need is Video Helper, which handles audio uploads and video merging. It's very practical and can also be easily installed via manager. Step 3. Drag in the workflow. I'll share it in the description, and you can either download it or build it yourself. Let's take a look at the nodes and parameters in this workflow. In the top left corner is the SVD loading node, where you can use either version 1.0 or 1.1 of the SVD model. However, version 1.1 is half the size of version 1.0, so there's no reason to choose 1.0. For audio loading, I'm using the Load Audio, Upload, node inside Video Helper. It has an extra segment selection feature compared to Comfy UI's built-in load audio. I'm using the Thunder Rolls audio I found online, skipping the first second for demonstration purposes, and running it for two seconds continuously. If you find the audio too noisy, you can use the audio separator simple node from the Ryan on the inside plugin to denoise it, extracting only the human voice. You can check out my video for more on how to use it. The SONIC loader node is responsible for loading the model. Sonic underscore Annette finds the model file in the directory, and IP underscore audio underscore scale controls the intensity of the audio's emotional semantics. You can adjust this based on the final output. Use underscore interframe determines whether to enable frame interpolation, and type determines the computational precision of the model, ranging from FP16 to BF16 to FP32, with increasing GPU load. The Sonic underscore Predata node plays a key role in this workflow, primarily handling the input images and audio, converting them into the required data format. The image input on the left is the character's image you want to speak. There are no strict requirements for image size and resolution, but of course, don't make it too large, but the clearer and more prominent the face is, the better the final result will be. Expand underscore ratio controls the range of face expansion after detection and cropping by the YOLO model. The audio signal will be applied to this area to generate lip movements and other actions. Min underscore resolution determines the final video size. The input image will be resized to maintain the aspect ratio until its shortest side matches min underscore resolution. Duration limits the maximum length of the audio to prevent the model from running indefinitely. The next node, SONIC Sampler, handles the sampling process. Dynamic underscore scale adjusts the dynamic range of the movements. This is the parameter you'll likely need to modify the most in this workflow, with a range from 0.5 to 2.0. We'll demonstrate the effects with different settings shortly. Keep the FPS at the default value of 25. Finally, the Video Combine node is responsible for merging the final video. Similar functionality has been used in examples like Who and You and Video and Anime Diff, but this time, don't forget to connect the audio too. After clicking Run, 
the effect is quite impressive. Although it only runs for two seconds, the lip sync is perfectly aligned. And the preview looks very realistic. Next, let's compare the results with dynamic underscore scale set to 0.5 and 2.0. Personally, I feel the lip sync and the overall movement amplitude of the character are noticeably different, and you can adjust it as needed. The audio length theoretically has no limit. In the official example, there's even a 9 minute long video. But keep in mind that VRAM requirements and sampling time will increase, so use it within your system's capacity. My local 4080 GPU requires about half a minute of sampling per second of video. Overall, this model is quite good and worth trying. Now, let's talk about its shortcomings. The closer the target character is to a real person, the better the final result. On the other hand, if you input an animated character or a doll, the effect might be poor, and it could even result in errors if the face cannot be detected. Additionally, since it uses an SVD model from about a year ago, some images may occasionally have ghosting artifacts. For example, the Mona Lisa effect here has a bit of a creepy vibe. For those encountering this problem, you can first generate a 0.5 amplitude video of a real person then use the lip portrait workflow to transfer the effect to the Mona Lisa, and that will easily solve the problem. Don't forget to change the FPS to 25 and connect the audio to see the effect. It looks great. That's all for today's video. I'll include the model, plugins, and workflow resources in the description, so feel free to download them. See you next time.